Hey everyone! I tried to do a live in the group, but I was afraid that it was going to be too blurry, and it's super stormy here today, and I live in the boondocks anyways. What I wanted to do for the group is I wanted to do a video of my last three wigs that I bought in the last live and just kind of show them off and do a couple beauty things and just random, just kind of talk about a couple beauty products. Um, the wig I have on right now is is not one that I bought in the live. This is Brianna by Envy. I just kind of wear her around the house. It's dark. It's called Dark Blonde. Um, so I just kind of wore it for this. It It's really cute, I think. I don't wear it all the time, um, but it's super comfortable. It has like a lace front. Really nice fibers. Um, I think I cut bangs in this. I modified this a lot. It's usually like about three inches longer than this. But anyways, guys, like I said, I was trying to do a live in the group and I was afraid that it was blurry for everybody because I have such bad internet where I'm at and it's storming today and it's super dark in here, so I was just worried. So I figured this would be a better way. It should be a lot clearer this way and you can just watch it at your leisure. I don't, you know. But anyways, let's just get started. Let's just dive right in. The first thing I thought I would do is I had a couple of people ask me um, about how I do my, or like a soft brow type of tutorial, and again, first disclaimer, I'm not a wig expert, um, I'm not a beauty guru, I don't, I, I just figured I'd show you guys what I do, I did all my makeup except for my brows, and um, I just thought I'd show you what I, I do, um, I don't know why I have this dark spot right here, I don't know what's going on there, I think it's like a shadow coming from outside, it's like so dark, so let me move a little bit closer here, and I'll show you a couple products I use for my brows. I got this in, I think, either an Ipsy Plus or a BoxyCharm, but it's just a brow pencil. Um, I usually use just a brow pencil. Sometimes I'll use uh, like a brow gel, but not even very often. I usually just use a pencil. The other thing you always want to have is a little spoolie because what you're going to want to do is like comb through your brows first. And hopefully this hair will stay up out of the way here. So we're going to, I'm just going to comb through, this is what I do every day. And I, I don't, oh, I don't do a whole lot to my brows to be honest. So and hopefully, and I just lost everything on my table, of course. First thing I do is just comb through them. So I'm going to use a mirror down here. I, I'm hoping you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Let me move this closer. Okay. So this, this pencil actually has a spoolie on this end as well. So what I do, like I said, I just comb through them and then what I do is I take the pencil end and this is hard for me to do here. I usually don't look in the mirror, but I want you guys to see what I'm doing too. I'll usually just line, so you'll get the idea if you can't see close up. This look this will look a little dark at first, but you'll see what, what happens here. So I usually just line the bottom up into the top area here, okay? And then I will line the tail of my brow and then the only other thing I do is make little short strokes upward from the brow. Just straight up like that through the whole brow. The second thing, and that looks dark, I know, but but when you put your spoolie through it, it kind of, it'll soften it a lot. So then I just brush through my brow just like that. So you can see the difference. It's not real heavy, um, but the spoolie helps to move that product. So that's just, that's all I do for my brow, just like that. And I'll do this side too. So you can see the difference between the two. And like I said, I don't heavily line them at all. I just, I'm using my mirror right here. I just line along the bottom here, straight up and then down. And I'm just gonna flick, make these little flicking motions upward right here, like little hairs almost. Then I just take my spoolie and brush through and that and by doing that it kind of distributes the product so it gets rid of that harsh line that you make right across here and that is all I do for my brows every day that's it that's about the softest probably look you'll get if you're looking to do like a really soft eyebrow and like, like, like I said I I'm no beauty guru by any means that's just how I do it every day um, so yeah that's how I do my eyebrows Super simple, just take, super simple, just takes a couple of minutes and boom, that's it. Just like that. Okay, so I want to spend quite a bit of time on wigs, so I think I'm going to spend a whole lot less time on makeup. I was going to go over a bunch of makeup, but then I'm kind of looking like, eh, do I really want to do that? Because, oh, I did want to point out one thing, though, and I'm trying to find my other ones. I thought I had them up here. Um, 
I know a couple of you had watched Leanne, when you watched Leanne, Leanne's live, you asked her like where she gets her lippies from because they, they make like this really frosted metallic kind of look to her lips. And I found something really comparable. I don't know what Leanne uses, but these are the liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild and they're like three bucks, I think. They're the metallic ones. Yeah, it's liquid catsuit metallic lipstick. So if you're looking to put like a frost and, and do it and kind of, you know, not spend a whole lot of money, and you can actually sometimes get these at Rite Aid for 40% off. They put just like that frosted kind of summery look to your lips. So these come in several different colors, and I wish I could find my other ones. I actually had them out because I wanted to show you guys, but I don't see them right here in front of me. But if you're looking for like a frosted lip and you don't want to spend like a whole, whole, whole bunch of money, try these liquid cat suits. And this is the metallic one. You have to make sure you get the metallic one. If I find them here, guys, which I literally, I had so much. Oh, here's one. I think when I dropped all that stuff, I dropped. Here's one of them too. This is a really, this is like a much lighter shade. Anyway, let's get to the wigs, I think, because that's kind of the main star of my show, I guess. If anybody wants to know what I have on my eyes, I can let you know. I was going to go through just some products that I kind of use every single day. Um, I can still do that, like, super quick, I guess. Um, for primer, I, every day I always use this Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer. Uh, I use a face oil every day. This is actually Physician's Formula Bright Booster. Don't be afraid of face oils if you have oily skin or combination skin. This actually makes my skin look really nice. For foundation, I use these It CC creams. I've been using this bronze one because I have a little bit of a tan going on, but when I'm lighter, I use the medium. This is actually medium tan. These have SPF 50 in them, and they literally make your skin look super fabulous. Um... It, I, fe I, for bronzer, I usually bronze the outside of my face and like down my neck. Um, for bronzer, I've been using these cargo bronzers. This one is matte medium, I believe. This is what it looks like in the pan. I found these at Kohl's for like two bucks. They're, they were on clearance. So I was, I was like super impressed with those. So if you go to, if you have a Kohl's nearby, look in their makeup section every once in a while. They get a lot of stuff on clearance. For blush, I use this little NARS and this is the name of it right here. I have no idea how to, how to say that. Ghouli? I, I don't know guys. Whoops. I am okay, let me just say something about me and dropping stuff. I literally drop a million things a day. I don't know why. It's like I have the slipperiest hands. I don't know why I do that. I drop some I'll drop pens at work, my phone at work, like all kinds of stuff. So ignore me dropping things because it's literally I do it every all the time. All the time. Okay, what's next? Bronzer, uh that was my blush. I also, well, you see what I use for my brows. I also use this high brow every day to line right up here on my brows. It looks like this. It's just a crayon. I use that every day. I also use these um, Essence Primer, shadow primers on my lid to get my eyeshadow to stick every day. Um, the mascara I've been using is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. This is just almost exactly like better than sex. If you like Too Faced better than sex mascara, that's really good. Oh, I use the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage Needles No More on the, on my, <laughs> underneath my eyes every day. Okay, um, uh, for eyeshadow, I change my eyeshadow almost every single day. Uh, I did set out a couple of my favorite palettes, but if you guys want me to do, like, go through some of my palettes, I literally have, like, 40 palettes. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette and I almost hate to show it to you guys because I don't even think you can get it anymore. I, I literally have like three of these. It's the um, Tarte Aspen Ovard collab palette. Um, literally have three of these. The reason I got three is this shade way down here seems to break loose. These are all the eyeshadows. This is a blush and a highlighter. I, I literally have two backups of this. I love it so much. My second favorite is this Tarte this is the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust palette. Looks like that on the inside. It's like purpley, cool tones. Another one of my favorites is this Urban Decay. This is like the ultimate matte palette. If you haven't ever used ColourPop, I suggest you go get some ColourPop. I have several ColourPop palettes. These are Fame and Fortune. They're two of my favorites. The, the, the Fame one is a cooler tone palette. 
The Fortune is a warmer toned palette and these have really good color payoff. I highly, 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 highly suggest getting ColourPop. This is actually one of my favorites too, guys. Like, you want a cheap drugstore palette? This is L'Oreal's um, Enchanted Scented Eye Palette. This one smells like peach and it's kind of a knockoff for the the Peach Too Faced palette. Love this. Great color payoff on this too. One of my other favorites, and I'll, this is the last one I'll show so we can get to the wigs. Um, this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette. You could only get this on HSN and it looks like that. Those are a couple of my favorite palettes. I hate to go through this so fast, but I feel like I want to do wig stuff. I want to do wig stuff. So yeah, this is Brianna by Envy. I do not wear it very often, but I thought I'd wear it today. Um, I really like I actually, ha I don't know if I cut bangs in this or it comes with bangs, but I really like the lace front on this one. It's, it's, it's really nice. So that's what I'm wearing now. And I actually have it pinned up a little bit on the side. So I'll take that down because I'm going to take her off. And okay. So let's start with the wigs. Um, I'll start with Aesthetica first that I bought last week. And Excuse this guys. I know this is gonna look oh god. I almost hate to take my wig off and have make you like see my Disgusting. I have a wig grip on. Ugh. So let me take this off It's like you just go from fab to drab in like two seconds, you know <laughs> So this is my bio hair. I have a lot of thinning on the sides. Um, I wear a wig grip every day I actually put hairspray underneath here to kind of secure it down. This is my natural hair color back here my bio hair color, it's like a blonde, like a really light golden blonde color, I guess you could say. I haven't tried this one on at all. This is the Aesthetica Orchid that I bought from Leanne's last live. Not not this, not this, yesterday, but last week's live. This is Orchid in RH1488M. The M stands for modified. And she is blonde. She is blonde and a little bit curly. I, I find that I find myself getting away from curlier wigs, but that's just my, obviously, that's just my personal preference. I have a little comb here if I want to mess with her a little bit. I'm just going to comb it out a little, just a little bit. This is what she looks like. Very pretty. Lots of layers. Here's the cap. She's got a lace front mono part. There's no permatease in this. Or if there is, it's super minimal, like barely, if there is. And then there's um, adjustable straps in the back and a little bit of an extended nape. So let's try her on. Like I said, I haven't put this one on yet, so let's see what she looks like. Aesthetica's caps are run are very roomy on me. Um, I, have a, I think my head circumference is 21.25 inches. So this is... Orchid. Very, oh really, I really like her. I'm probably gonna have to mess with this up here a little bit because, and I wish I had my hair dryer over here, and if anyone wonders how to get hair out of your face, if you have a wig that just, it will not get out of your face, what you can do is get some water and a hair dryer. Put your hair dryer on the lowest setting. You want to wet this area like right in here. You can even do this with your hands if you Rub your hands together and get some natural heat going and then just hold it, hold it down for like a few seconds. It'll, you'll train that hair to go over. I do it just about on every single wig I have. So this is the first wig I got. Gosh, guys, I really like this one. This is just, to me, look, this to me looks really natural. Um, you know, I really like this color too. I hope the color's coming across. It's, it's a light blonde. The ear tabs fit me really well. They're sitting right here. This reminds me of like, this This sounds kind of, I don't know if this doesn't come across as bad. This looks like, I, this reminds me of my mom's hair when like, when I was younger. Like she had this really great like Farrah Fawcett-y kind of blonde look to her. So this is her and here's my mannequin back here. Sorry about her, but this is Orchid by Aesthetica R14. Is it R1488M? Yeah, it's definitely modified. Yeah, R1488M. Really pretty. Really pretty. Let me see if I can show you the back a little bit there. So she's kind of a long one. No doubt. I'm sorry. I'm sitting here in my robe, guys. I really am. <laughs> All right. 
So that is Orchid by Aesthetica. That was one of the wigs I bought in the last live from, from Leanne. Very pretty. I really like her. I really like her. What? I was worried I wouldn't like this one because the curl, I seem to be wanting to buy um, straighter wigs lately. I don't know why, but this is really cute. I really like this. This is, this is really cute. And I really like the color too. Very summery. Okay, let's put Orchid back. I really like this one. She's a winner, Leanne. I wasn't going to buy this one, but actually, I, you know, I'm like, mm, okay, I'm going to get that one. I'm going to get that one. And her fibers feel really, really nice. Sorry, I'm back in my wig cap. From fab to drab. Really pretty. Really like that one. Okay. The next one are, is one that I post. I'm saving the Sintress for the last because I really want to talk more in depth about her. This one you guys have probably seen me in. Already I posted a picture in the group. This is Tressalore. And this is Camille in the color Chiffon Candy. You can see that. This is, I love this wig. I love this wig. I've been wearing this wig to work. She's darker, obviously. I've been kind of leaning towards darker colors too, to be honest. Um, darker shades. Um, She's a goldeny blonde, you know, or to me, she's, I don't, she, to me, she's a naturally beautiful blonde and it's, it's rooted. Now she has a really nice cap too. She's got a lace front, mono top, and you can part any way you want and a little silicone strip right here. I've been wearing this one every day to work. I was wearing Shiloh for a while. I, I just washed Shiloh for the first time like yesterday. This cap is snugger than the Aesthetica cap for sure, for sure. But it's not bad. I mean, my I feel like I have a smaller head. I think my circumference is 21.25. So this is Camille and Chiffon Candy. I love this wig, guys. Like this is, if I had to, this, this is my bio hair. Like to me, this is my bio hair when I had really nice hair before, you know, I, before I got sick and things <laughs> that I won't get into, but, um, I really like her. I do have to work with these bangs just a little bit more, but again, if you have some water, try water and a blow dryer on low setting, you can try your hands. You just put it and hold it like this. And that heat from your hands will push that hair out of the way, just like that. And she's about the same length as the last one, only, only straighter. Whoops. Sorry. Almost lost my robe. So there she is, and here she is in the back. Hopefully you can see that. Chiffon Candy is the color on this one. Very pretty. And you know, anytime you buy a wig, you have to work with it a little bit. There are very few wigs, if any, that I've ever bought that I, that I think I just threw on and went out the door. Maybe Shiloh. Shiloh might've been the only one. But otherwise, you know, and this wig can be parted in just about any direction. I'm a left parter. I've always been a left parter. So, so this is, again, Chiffon Candy and Camille, of course, Camille. I love this one. She's very comfortable. The cap's very comfortable. The coloring's great. I got a little bit of hair. There's the lace front. Um, I think if Christy, if you watch this, I think we were talking about, you were talking about, well, getting the bangs out of your face and the lace front kind of popping up or lifting up. I find that when I kind of move this top around a little bit, like I kind of lift it up a little bit and pull downwards that that lace front will lay right perfect for me. So just mess with it a little bit and, and get it to fit right. But yeah, this one's a beauty guys. So let's move on to the last one. We're moving on to the last one. Let me take this one off. And I can tell you just by wearing her, I've been wearing her like for maybe this one for about a week or a week and a half. Um, the, she barely tangles at all too, just like the um, Shiloh. Shiloh does not tangle at all. That wig is awesome. So I'm hoping that the, fi I think these Tressalore fibers are really, really good. Um, like I said, I barely have, I haven't put any product, had to put any wig detangler or anything on her at all. At all. Okay, sorry, I'm out of frame there. Last but not least, we have the Gemtress 
Centrus collection. The model is showing you her blazing star. Her color is 627. My color is 1621. If you can see that there. Blazing star 1621. Okay. Uh, guys, I I won't lie, I tried this one on. I had to. I just had to. I, I saw it and I was like, OMG. And this is very much like the chiffon candy color, I think. Now these wigs are not rooted. None of them are. However, with that being said, they're, the blending of these colors is amazing. Uh, amazing. And the sun's shining a little bit, so I hope it'll come across. Look at these. Look at that. See how they're... Look at, look at the dimension in the color in this. I can't... I mean, it's crazy. Look at that dimension in the color. Just beautiful. Just a beautiful color. Look at that. I feel like I'm on that video. Did you ever see that video where the guy goes, look at this, look at this, or whatever, it's so funny, that's me. Here's the top. The top, the, the, you know, you can see there's some, you know, some chunky highlights there, sort of. Um, the inside of this cap also, and I, let me go back to the fibers just for one minute. The fibers on this are amazing. It literally, it legit feels like real hair. Now I wore real ha human hair extensions for probably 10 years and this literally feels like real hair. Now, one thing, I feel like there's either a little bit of, I don't want to say it's permatease up here. It's not really permatease, but it, there's a thickness to this area right in the back here. There's like a fullness to it, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, but I don't want to say there's, I don't feel permatease, but it, there it's, there's definitely a lot of hair here for the price. I mean, f there's a lot of hair there. Um, the inside of the cap looks like this. This is amazing. This is like the lace front. The mono top is so soft right here. That's this wonderfully soft material. You got this strip across here. Um, if you're, you know, for extra added comfort, a silicone strip, there's open wefted. These tabs are velvet lined. They're beautiful, gorgeous ear tabs. They feel perfect. There's a little bit of an extended nape. And this also feels um, like there's a little, it's not silicone. It's just a very soft material. And then you've got these adjustable straps. I get, honestly, I can't say enough about this wig just by looking at it and the color. I mean, that color and the way the hair moves and just, it's just gorgeous. It's literally just the most gorgeous thing ever. Um, so we're going to put her on. I'm just kind of running a comb through her just a little bit. I haven't worn her like all day, so I don't know how she'll wear, but I will let you guys know because I, I saw a couple people say they tangle, but I, I always expect a longer wig to tangle no matter what, no matter what it is. So let's try this one on, okay? The cap size fits a lot like the Tressalore. I would say I have more room in this one though than the Tressalore. See how there's, there's like a lot of hair up there, guys. A lot. <laughs> Let me move this lace front back to where it should be on my head. This reminds me a lot, and like I said, I do need to play with this wig a lot. I need to get it to lay right. This is just first time, you know, first time kind of on. There's a, there's a lot of hair in this wig, guys. I mean, it's really nice. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. The, the, um, the front of this with the highlights reminds me a lot of Raquel Welch, Raquel Welch wigs. You know how they, she highlights the front? That's what this reminds me of. It, it's very well highlighted in the front. You see what I'm saying? Now see, that's the lace front. See you ladies um, that sometimes worry about lace fronts. Do, I think you're worrying because it's more of a self-confidence thing because, I mean, I can kind of see it on my end, but really, can you really see it? Like, see, like look at that. Look at it. <laughs> there I go with that. Say with that. Look at it. Look at it. Gosh, you guys, I'm so annoying. I'm sorry. I love this one too. I feel I'm gonna wear this over Fourth of July weekend, and we'll see. But yeah, super pretty. I love it. I love this one for sure, no doubt. She's beautiful. It feels great. Like I definitely need to work on this bang to kind of keep it out of the way. You know, that'll be easy. That'll just take some water, some heat. You just want to rub your hands together. And you can put them 
you know, hold it and you do this a few times. There's quite a bit of hair like right here. Like that's why I feel like, you know, it feels like there's just so much hair right here. You can really poof her up if you wanted to in the front there, like really poofy. Or, you know, you kind of just do that and it goes down. I may even, there may even be enough hair here to thin out. But see, I'm a left parter, so I want to do, you know, I always want to go this way with hair, like I tend to. Always. Really, really pretty. Super pretty. Anyone that bought Blazing Star in the last sale, you're, you're going to love her. You are going to love her. She's longer than Camille. She goes to the girls. I'm five foot four, if that gives you any clue. But yeah. This is Sintress, Gemtress, uh, Blazing Star. I really think this looks super natural. Here's the top, if you can see that, the mono top. I mean, it just, it, lo it looks like, this also reminds me a lot of my bio hair. This is my bio hair, but thicker. <laughs> a little bit thicker, that's all. Like, it's really kind of, there's a lot of hair, like, right through here. But again, like, you know, I think I probably just need to play with it, like, comb it back a little, you know get it to lay where I want it to. Like this is just a really pretty front right here. There's like these highlights that go right there. Um, you could easily pull her up too in any kind of, I think this would be really pretty braided down the side too. I really like this one. Like this is date night hair for sure. Date night. So, there you go. Very pretty. I will take some pictures of this um, for the group so Stacy can put it on the Instagram. But guys, look at the movement of the, just, I, I can't, also one thing I want to say about the cap, um, having it on my head, um, it literally feels like you're wearing nothing. Like it feels like you're wearing nothing, like it's so light. For as much hair on is on here, I expected it to feel a lot heavier and it, it feels so light it, that, I mean, this is literally the most comfortable cap I've probably ever worn, probably ever worn. So I will wear this over July 4th weekend and I will update you guys on the tangling situation. Like, I don't know if it's going to tangle a whole lot, not, not, not a lot, you know, who knows? I mean, obviously you're going to have some tangling. I, I, I would expect tangling out of a wig this length. But honestly, like, oh my god, it's beautiful. If Leanne has another one of these on the live, you better snatch it up. Very pretty. Very pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I didn't, you know, just running the comb through it, I don't have any issues at all. Um, so I will, let me just get closer again so you can see the lace front. See? There it is. You barely, I, I'm looking in the mirror and it literally looks like the hair is growing right out of my head. To me it does. I, I see I see a lot of people that seem to be like a little bit self-conscious about lace fronts. Believe me when I say that you are probably noticing it more than anybody else in the world would. Because I think it's like a self-conscious thing. Now there are, pro, there, I'm sure there are times where you buy a wig and it just does like the coloring of the lace front doesn't match. And I used to have that happen, but I that used to happen when I used to buy a lot cheaper wigs. Like when I used to buy a lot cheaper wigs, I noted the lace would not match my skin tone at all. There is ways to fix that, but if it matches your skin tone, then I feel kind of like it, like, I feel maybe like it's, it's you being a little bit self-conscious about it and not so much the fact that you can see it. Because to be quite honest, before I wore wigs, I never ever once in the history of ever ever looked at a person like okay let me see their hairline like who whoever looks at a person's hairline nobody now i do because i wear wigs i'm like oh is that a wig on that lady it's so pretty is that you know some i do now but people who like don't wear wigs they don't look at that stuff they don't they don't care about that stuff and it, honestly if they did that's on them not on you and just remember you do you boo and you be cute and do you and they can worry about your hairline I mean, who cares right very pretty i love this one guys I love it. I will do a, a more thorough review after July 4th because I'm going to wear it that whole weekend. I'm going to wear it out. I'll, I might even go fishing in this wig. Who knows? Like, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but barbecuing, sitting out in the sun all day. I'll let you know, you know, how it goes. This would be super pretty pulled up too. Oh God. Oh, look, look how pretty. 
you guys grab this one. If Leanne has it, grab it. That price is not, once people realize the, the, what they have in this wig, they're going to want it. I'm telling you, no doubt. All right. So that's it guys. That was all I really want. I just want to show you my wigs from the live and thanks for watching. I'm just going to post this to the group. It probably won't even go up on my YouTube. I don't know unless it's easier for me to do it that way, but I, I don't know because I had think I have to splice a couple parts together. So we'll see. Thanks for watching guys. And please, I, if I do leave this on YouTube, I'll leave a link to the group below. If you have questions about any of the products I use, let me know. I'll link those below too. Um, that's it guys. It was, it was nice to be here. Nice to talk wigs. I love to talk wigs. Thanks for watching and have a good day.